Hey, Kevin. What are you screwing with? Well, that's a bad way to put it. Now, setting up my new longevity TIG weld. This is a 250 ACDC. Name about that long. But it's a good machine. Come here, let me show you what's going on. So when you break this little guy out of the box, of course the first thing you have to do is put a power plug on it. And it's just a standard three wire, 220 single phase. So you got black, white, and green. Hook them up. If you know how to do it, great. If not, have an electrician come in. Don't be messing with it if you don't know what you're doing. So here are some of the other things that come in the box with the welder. Your ground cable. This is your electrode holder for stick welding. It also does that. Some extra collets and the short knobs to go on the back when you're using short tungstens as opposed to the long ones. A few extra cups. The uh, flow meter for the argon bottle along with the hose. And I made one change in this. Normally you would, you could either push this hose onto the back of the machine, and I'll show you that, but it also takes a quick disconnect fitting. So I added a quick disconnect and put a 90 degree elbow on it so it can clear the bottle when it's sitting on the cart. And I'll show you all that in a minute. And your air-cooled TIG torch and also a foot pedal. Now, the TIG torch has a finger control on it, so you can either run it right from here if you're like under the car or standing on your head like I do half the time, but it also has the foot pedal, so you can run it like sitting at a bench. Important thing to remember with the foot pedal, there's an adjustment knob on the back of it for your amperage. Not at the machine, but over here. Very important to remember. So let's go to the machine and hook the cables up. So first up, with your TIG torch connection, goes on the negative side of the machine, and it, it, you line up the little boss, push it in, twist it, you're good to go. Your gas connection for the argon goes right into the quick disconnect on the front of the machine. Is this all marked, and Kevin? Snap it in. Yeah, it says gas outlet underneath it. It says negative underneath the connector for the TIG torch. This is the controller, and this is the positive side. So the next up would be the control cable for the TIG torch. Line up the little boss. Screw them in. More screw yeah, More screw them. And this is also where you would hook up the foot pedal if you were going to use it. You would just unhook the TIG torch, hook up the foot pedal, you're ready to go. Ground cable. Again, line up the boss on the electrode. Stick it in, give it a twist. So now on the back of the machine, you got your flow meter in your argon bottle. And this is that quick disconnect I put on to hook up to the back of the machine. Let me show you. See, this is the little connector on the back that the gas goes into. You can either slip the tube right over this connector on the back of the machine and just put the hose clamp that comes with it right on here if you're going to leave it hooked up all the time. I added this little quick disconnect to it. That easy, that quick. Now, if I want to use this, this flow meter on a different machine, if I want to 
move the TIG to a different location, it's easy enough to just pop this off, move it to a different spot, and set it right back up again. So as far as turning it on, the on-off switch is right on the back side, on the left side of the machine. All your controls right here in the front. I think we'll save these for the next video, and then we'll get to see it work all at the same time. So I hope that helps you get everything set up, and come back and see us for the next one. Bye.